Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the smart lock feature found on your Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and just about any other Android smartphone. So it is not exclusive to the Note 8, but I want to talk about it in regards to the Note 8. You can use the smart lock feature in various different ways. So in this video, we will dive in and talk about all the four different options you get with smart lock. And of course, what smart lock is, it is a feature that allows you to automatically unlock your smartphone based on certain circumstances that you define yourself. It allows you to bypass having to put in a pin number, use your fingerprint sensor or use the iris scanner and such. It just magically unlocks the device. So let's dive in and discover smart lock. All right, so let's dive in and take a look at the smart lock. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the settings, obviously, tap on settings, and then go to lock screen and security, and then take a look at the smart lock under phone security features. So let's tap on that smart lock, and uh, it's going to ask me to put in my PIN number, so let me do that right now. And now we're under smart lock options. Now, as you can see, you actually have access to four different options, all right? And before I dive into the options, if you tap this button here, you can tap this icon where it says how it works. It's going to tell you a quick summary of what is smart lock and you can tap on learn more. It's going to tell you even more, uh, give you even more information regarding the smart lock. So basically it's saying keep your device unlocked when it's safe with you. Smart lock can do this by recognizing signals like when your device is in your pocket or near your home. So let's go back out here and let's take a look at, let me skip the own body detection really quick. Let me first look at the trusted places. So basically what you can do is you can enable your phone to remain unlocked as long as you are in a trusted location. Now this location does not have to be a small confined area. It can be an entire state. It could be the Philadelphia International Airport, such as you can see right here, or it could be your home address or your work address or even your friend's house. Let me tap on it really quickly. And as you can see, I have a bunch of options here. I have the home over here. It says New York, and it also says Philadelphia International Airport. So this is gonna uh, basically make sure that my phone is unlocked at all times as long as I am in my house. And this one, just for the sake of example, uh, if I do travel to New York, my phone is gonna stay unlocked as long as the phone detects that I'm in the state of New York. And of course, uh, it knows precisely where I am because it is using GPS and it's using Google Maps as its database so that's as accurate as you can get. And over here, just as a third option, I, I set up Philadelphia International Airport uh, as a trusted place. So when I go to that airport, my phone is uh, unlocked the entire time I am within the airport's coordinates. This is absolutely fantastic, all right? And again, like I said, you can add anything that you want. You can be very specific or, or unspecific. So when you wanna add something new, all you do is you go to add trusted place and you tap on it and it's gonna bring up the map and it's gonna ask you to select a location. You can search for a location or you can actually tap anywhere on the map to pick a location. So let me just tap over here and let me just uh, put the address. Let me actually look for a business. Let me look for Best Buy, right? Best Buy store. So it's saying there's a Best Buy on Baltimore Pike here. So let me tap this one. And uh, do you want to use this place as a trusted place? You click select and now Best Buy is going to be with that address a location where my phone is going to remain unlocked so when I'm browsing the store and if I want to access my phone it's going to be so easy I'll just pull it out and it's already unlocked no need to face scan iris scan or fingerprint scan or even put your pin number in all right so that's the trusted places absolutely fantastic feature all right so the next thing I want to talk about is the own body detection smart lock so let me tap on this guy and basically you can turn this on or off and when you try to turn it on, it's saying it's not that secure. It says own body detection cannot distinguish between you or somebody else, all right? So if somebody else just grabs your phone and they're holding that in, in their hands, it's probably gonna unlock that phone and it's gonna be accessible. The whole phone is gonna be accessible to that other person. So this is a highly convenience feature. It is not a security feature, just keep that in mind. If you're looking for massive convenience, then this feature is just fine. It's almost like not having a uh, password or a PIN number on your phone, which is why I don't understand why they even have this option enabled. And of course, I'm gonna disable this because it's not that secure, obviously. So let's go back and let's take a look at the next thing. Now, this is one thing that I do like and I do use. 
Basically, your device remains unlocked when it is nearby a device that you trust. So let me tap on this. I'm going to show you how it works. So it does work with Bluetooth. And basically, all you want to do is you want to tap on Add Trusted Device. And just remember one thing it says over here. Note, Bluetooth connections have a range of up to 100 meters. So as long as you're within 100 meters of that device, your phone is going to remain unlocked. As long as your phone is connected to that device via Bluetooth. Now that device could be a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker. That device could be a Bluetooth watch, one of those smart watches. Or that device could even be your car, which is the option that I use. So you tap on Add Trusted Place. It brings up all the devices that you currently use your Bluetooth with, or you can add new ones. And you simply pick the one that you want to uh, use as a trusted device. So in this case, let me use Audi. This is my car. So when I'm in the car, I don't want to uh, keep unlocking my phone all the time. So I'm going to add my car as a trusted device. I'm going to tap this guy and it says, do you want to add it? I'm going to say yes, add. So from now on, anytime I'm in my car, I don't have to worry about unlocking the phone, which could be distracting even though you shouldn't be using your phone in the first place while you're in the car. But let's say you're parked, it's just convenient, all right? So let's get out of here. I'm sure you understand exactly what this is and move on to the final smart lock feature. Now this one is called the trusted voice. So let's go right inside. You can, you can actually set up your voice to unlock your phone, but it's a very limited option. Basically, it only works with OK Google. So basically, your device is going to recognize your voice when you say OK Google. Now your phone could be completely shut or you could be using any app that you want and uh, it's going to actually unlock the phone and you're going to be able to access OK Google. I'm actually going to go ahead and demonstrate this one for you guys. Now it's not very secure, but it does look, it does try to actually recognize your particular voice. So let's enable that right now. Okay. It's saying teach the assistant to recognize your voice. So let me do a get started on this one. OK Google. OK, Google. OK, Google. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to use OK, Google to unlock your phone? You can enable or disable it right here, as you can see, and then click done. And you, it's going to ask you to put your PIN number in just to confirm this is you. So let me do that right now. All right, so after making sure both of these options are enabled, uh, I'm going to try to do it right now so you guys can see how it works. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to power off the device, I mean just uh, turn off the device, and I'm going to say, OK Google. And as you can see, the phone was unlocked, and I'm right in the uh, Google Assistant menu, and I can do a quick query as I please. All right, another convenient feature to have. Now again, this is not a fully secure feature, but at least it tries to recognize your voice, so it can actually unlock the phone using OK Google option. All right, oh, there it is. So let me go back in here, go to lock screen security, smart lock. Let me put my pin number in and there we have it. The four options known as the smart lock. All right. So that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all three at Saki Tech online. Guys have a fantastic day. And if you do have any comments, questions, concerns, just drop them down below in the comments section. All right.